Hi, I'm Stevie T, and today we're going to be looking at my top 10 favorite guitar effects of all time of the past week or so. Now let's face it, without guitar effects, we wouldn't even have a guitar sound. We'd pretty much suck. And which guitar effects program am I going to be using today? Bias Effects. Bias Effects is a guitar effects ensuite. It's made by a company called Positive Grid. They are the guys behind Bias. Amazing, I use all my tones with Bias. But Bias Effects is all about the effects. It's probably why they call it Bias Effects. So let's start our top 10 best guitar effects list with Overdrive. All right, no, look, now technically Overdrive isn't even an effect, but let's face it, Overdrive is everywhere. I admit at one point in my life, I was all about the heavy metal distortion. But what I've come to realize over the years is that you can't beat a light overdrive tone. You just can't. All right, so I just loaded up a factory preset called Arsenal. And already, you can play like any classic rock riff ever made, and it sounds exact. <laughs> Just to show it as an example, let's turn off the overdrive and see how it sounds then. It's just missing that little punch, you know? So we turn the overdrive back on, and we rip. But then let's say we want a little kick, you know? So we'll go to 10 on the drive knob. Now we can do some overdrive gent. And a light overdrive is absolutely Perfect for a nice bluesy solo. The next guitar effect on our list, reverb. All right, so I pulled up a preset called Johnny's Blues. We have a nice little reverb set up. No overdrive and we'll see how this sounds. Oh, oh. Without the reverb, we would sound like this. And with reverb. Once you add that reverb, it just opens it right up. It just, you know. A nice clean amp with a little bit of reverb sounds great for a clean gent. We're gonna add a bit of overdrive to our amp and reverb setup here. Let's see how this sounds. Man, does that sound freaking amazing! Next guitar effect on our list, chorus. Now, not only does chorus sound incredible for clean tones, but chorus can also make lead tones sound incredible too. For example, my song Gangsta Gent off my album, Album of Epicness, relied very heavily on chorus. Take a listen. Honestly, chorus just makes everything sound sexy. The sound is nice. This sounds real cool. I like chorus. Cause it sounds sexy. The next guitar effect on our list, the phaser. Here are a couple notable tunes that use phaser. And of course, the phaser really helps give it that signature sound. In fact, I'm gonna play the topping parts to eruption again, but this time I'm gonna turn off the phaser all right, so here we go. Here's with it off. And here's with it on. While spinning. Oh, jeez. And if you really want to start getting kinky with it, you could just turn up the speed of the phaser and you get some really cool effects. Check this out. <gasps> wow. 
Now this leads me to my next effect, a very similar effect to the phaser. The flanger. Oh, and I apologize for maybe not using the exact correct settings for each of those songs for all of you tone elitists out there. Stevie, you're using the wrong settings. You're supposed to be using delay setting at 0.43 milliseconds. The settings don't have to be exact. These are just examples. Let's just have fun with it. See, so you mess around with like the speed settings and stuff again, and you get these cool ghost sounds like. That's a ghost. That sounds really, really neat. The next effect on our list tremolo. <laughs> Basically all tremolo is, is a fluctuation of volume. So basically all you get is this. Alright, so now I'm on the preset called Tweed On, and I've enabled our tremolo. Let's see what it sounds like. If you've ever done volume swells with your uh, volume knob, it's a really hard thing to do. Like, now we don't even need to touch our volume knob because this is doing the work for us. Here we go. See, that's a whole lot easier than having to do this. Turn off our tremolo. See, that's really tough. Hey, check it out, volume gent. Now the next effect on our list is the pitch shifter. That sounds really, really neat. Well, look, I've never personally used this effect on anything. It's a really cool effect if, let's say, for example, you're Tom Morello. Or Herman Lee. I don't have a ninth string. I can't gent. Well, yes, you can. Just change the pitch to minus two octaves. So now you can gent at really high strings. I just gented on the D string. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, what if you played two octaves down on the lowest string? <gasps> Brown note, anyone? Yeah, check it out. It's doom metal. And of course, you can always go two octaves up, and then you got chipmunk gent. <laughs> And the next effect on our list, the wah-wah. Wow, wow, wow. Some notable people who have used wah pedal would be people like Slash, Kirk Hammett, Jeff Beck, you know, Kirk Hammett, Joe Satriani, Kirk Hammett, and even Kirk Hammett has been known to use wah. Check it out, I'm Kirk Hammett. <laughs> All right, I'm not making fun of Kirk Hammett. I'm a huge Kirk Hammett fan, but he loves his wah. And if you've ever seen a dirty movie from the 70s... Next effect on our list, the Octaver. So what the Octaver does is it takes your original guitar signal and it adds an octave underneath it. You just play a note on, you know, your A string or something. And you've got the octave below. Don't need a bass player anymore, how about that? <laughs> Here's some recognizable riffs. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's really cool. And the octaver is also really cool because you can have a bass player that's basically shredding along with you. That bass player is fast. Evil. That lower octave is evil. The next effect on our list is delay, delay, delay. Ah. 
So what delay does is if you play something, it will repeat it a certain amount of times within certain time intervals that you can control. Now here are a couple songs you may recognize that use delay. But the awesome thing about delay is you can do cool stuff like this. Time to bust out the whammy. Someone call the police. Just an ex as an example, listen to this stuff without delay. Ugh. Ugh. What's one of them? So you either get this, or you get this. I'll take the delay, please. <laughs> now, we just looked at a few effects today. In reality, there are countless effects out there, but I have to take a second and give a shout out to Positive Grid for making an amazing program. And it's so simple, such an easy interface, and the effects sound so realistic, it's amazing. And I mean, it sure saves you money from having to go and buy all these pedals. <laughs> All right, so let's say, for example, you don't have an iPad, but you want Bias FX because it's awesome. Well, stay tuned, because soon to be released is Bias FX Desktop. Woo! Well, that'll be all for today. And until next time, keep shredding, keep trying some different guitar effects, and I'll see you next video. Bye!